This presentation is an introduction to Frontline SMS, which offers an affordable and versatile way for organizations to use text messaging to communicate with their various audiences. This video will walk you through some of the key elements of Frontline SMS, what you need to set it up, and how to execute some basic text messaging activities. So what is Frontline SMS? It's a cloud-based software that uses a mobile network to send, receive, and manage SMS or text messages. It allows users quite a bit of flexibility in how they use SMS by offering customizable activities or functions. You can send to individual numbers or larger imported contact lists, set auto-reply or auto-forward activities, and do things like subscription-based SMS, polls, URL forwards, and more. Activities are triggered by criteria set up by the users and can include things like received messages, missed calls, mobile payments, and API requests. So in order to use Frontline SMS, there's a few things that you're going to need to get started. First, you're going to need a computer. A laptop or a desktop is fine. You just need good internet access. You need a mobile device with SMS capabilities, a cell phone is best, and a Twilio account which is used to create a phone number from which you will send your messages. And of course, a frontline SMS account, which you have to create to access the program. The first thing I recommend doing is setting up your Twilio account. Twilio is a cloud-based developer platform used for communications, and software companies use it to add capabilities like voice, video, and SMS to their products. It's essentially the gateway for your SMS campaign because it will provide you with the phone number you're going to use to send your messages from. The main reason we use Twilio over other providers is because it allows us to pick a local number rather than an international number to send our messages from. When you create your Twilio account, it will ask you some questions, but you don't have to give specific answers if you're still exploring how the programs are going to work for you. It will also ask you for your phone number so it can text you a verification code to activate your account. Once you've done that and you've entered your code, you can create a project name. I'm going to name this project Frontline SMS. Twilio has a trial period which allows you one phone number while you try out their services. Once used, you'll be emailed plan options that you can purchase if you want to keep using your account. You can access your trial phone number on the dashboard of your Twilio account. Note the account SID and authorization token on your dashboard as well, because you will need these later on to link your number to your Frontline SMS account. Click on the Advanced Search and then click the Local Number option. You now have a local phone number that can send and receive messages for your SMS campaign. Next, you need to create your Frontline SMS account. Go to their website and from the home page, click on the Sign Up for Frontline button. Once you enter your details to create an account, Frontline will send you an email to verify. Once your account is verified, you'll get a message to let you know you are on a free trial period while you get to know the program. Depending on your needs, you will likely have to upgrade to one of their subscription levels, but to get started, the free option is a good way to get to know the program. From the Welcome page, click on each of the three steps to familiarize yourself with Frontline SMS, the activities they can do, how to import and manage contacts, and how to connect to your mobile network. Our mobile network is our Twilio, so step three is where we connect to the number we created. The next slides will walk you through what to do after you click on this step three. Once you've clicked on step three, Frontline SMS will give you various op options of web aggregators to connect to, including Twilio. Click on Twilio and then cut and paste the account SID and authorization token from the dashboard of your Twilio account into the form and then hit save. 
In Frontline SMS, click on the Take Me to My Inbox button if you're not already there. Then, click on the setting icon on the top right, Connections to Mobile Network, and you should see your Twilio number. To try sending a message, click on the Send SMS button in the top right of your inbox. You can enter numbers manually or select from any pre-entered contacts. When entering phone numbers, don't include dashes and start with one area code and then the seven digit number. Try entering your own cell phone number, write your message and hit Send Now. You should receive a text message and your inbox in Frontline SMS will now show your communication. You can navigate through your inbox menu options to look at things like sent, pending, or failed messages. All right, now that you've successfully sent a test message to yourself and it went through, let's go ahead and do a deeper dive in the different activities that Frontline SMS has to offer. So let's go ahead and create an activity that has to do with auto-replying to any incoming SMSs or any incoming texts. So go to the Create Activity tab, click on the Auto Reply to SMS, which will open up a screen where you can go ahead and name your activity. In this case, I named my activity Yes Auto Reply Beta. Enter the text that you would like to send out in your reply response to incoming texts. And afterwards, once you've created your message, you have the option to choose whether the auto reply will be triggered by a keyword at the start of that text or a keyword anywhere in the text or in this case all inbound uh, incoming texts, texts and once you've chosen that selection go ahead click on the save button and your activity should now be visible on the activities page where you have the option to keep it on or turn off. Once you've set up an activity it's important to go ahead and check it out to make sure it's actually working. So using your mobile phone or the in-house mock phone provided by Frontline SMS, send a sample text to your account phone number. You should see an auto reply from your activity if things are connected properly. One of the neat things about Frontline SMS is that you have the ability to create a subscription using SMS activity, which allows individuals to opt in or opt out on their own volition to join a subscription service created by you. So under Create an Activity, find the subscription using SMS. A new window will pop open. You will want to name your activity and people who opt in, you can either have them pop into a group that was created by you previously or you can create a new group here. Uh, you're going to want to choose some keywords to join uh, the subscription and also to opt out or unsubscribe. In this case, I chose the word join to opt in and the word stop to opt out. You'll want to draft a message for those who are subscribing and those who are unsubscribing. Once you're happy, go ahead and click the save button. You're going to want to try out the subscription activity to make sure it actually works. So go ahead using your mobile phone or the in-house mock phone, send a sample keyword text to your account phone number, in this case, join. Uh, if things work well, you should see a reply text. Um, and if you want to make sure that the unsubscribe or opt out function also works, send the opt out keyword. In this case, it would be stop for me and you should get a reply back saying that you've successfully unsubscribed from the service. Managing different groups of contacts in Frontline SMS is relatively easy. Uh, the first step is to go ahead and create uh, a group. So under the People tab, click on the plus sign next to the Groups heading and you want to enter uh, the name of the group uh, in the window that pops up. And you can go ahead and once you've chosen that name, you'll just create that group. Using the subscription via SMS activity that was previously created, you can revisit your activity and decide whether you want new subscribers to be classified into the group that you just created, or you can go ahead and create another group via the create a new group option. 
If you have not done so already, go ahead and send a keyword text message to your account number with the keyword to join your subscription. If things go well, you should see the number that was used in the subscribing uh, listed under the group name. Creating an auto forward SMS activity is actually quite similar to the auto reply um, activity that was demonstrated previously in this video. You're going to want to create an activity, find the auto forward SMS uh, option, click on that, and a new pop-up screen should show up. You'll want to name your activity, and you can either manually type in the number or numbers of recipients, or if you have them in your system, click on the show all contacts um, button and choose your contact or contacts who will receive the forwarded messages. You have the option of having uh, messages that start with specific keywords get forwarded or messages that contain keywords. Or in this case, uh, I chose all inbound SMS. So all text coming to my number will be forwarded to the contact that I choose. Once you're happy with your selection, go ahead and click the save button. Once you've confirmed that the details of your auto forward SMS activity are correct, go ahead, save it, and it should show up on your activities overview page. At this point, you can go ahead and test out the auto forward function. So using either your mock phone or your own mobile cellular phone, send a text to the account number. And hopefully if things are set up appropriately, the number or numbers that were set up as recipients for the auto forward should receive those messages. Once you've had a chance to use Frontline SMS, uh, you may want to analyze some data for research uh, purposes or analytics. So go ahead when you're ready, click on the inbox, uh, find the information you're looking for. In this case, I chose SMS received and you can go ahead and export any of the information that you'd like. And once you click on the export all button, you have the option to choose between CSV format or PDF formats, depending on your needs. Depending on the size of data that you selected, uh, it may take Frontline SMS a few minutes to successfully export and process the information that you chose. However, once it is successful and completed in exporting, you'll get a notification um, via the green tab saying that your communication export is completed successfully. And you have the option to click on the hyperlink to export the data based on whether you chose CSV or the PDF format. Uh, if you chose the CSV format, you can go ahead and open it in a spreadsheet, for example, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to analyze the data further. And this concludes our video tutorial on Frontline SMS. Hopefully, Christy and I have provided you with the necessary tools to set up a low-cost SMS campaign that will fulfill your outreach needs. All the best on your campaign, and good luck.